Hello my friends! Today we are going to explore our beautiful big farm. Are you ready? Great! Let's go! Look at these plants here. Some of them are large and some are small. Do you notice any differences between them? Great! The large plants have more leaves, while the small plants have less leaves, and the size of the leaves differ. These leaves are large and these are small. So small plants differ with large plants in their number and size of the leaves. We also have poplar trees in our farm. Look at how beautiful they are. They are also short. I remember that one time I found poplar trees at my father's friend's farm in a much lower area. The trees were very tall. The reason for this is that poplar trees are affected by the environment they are in. In the elevated areas, these trees are short, as we see here. But in the lower areas, the poplar trees are very tall. So the environment, my friends, affects the traits of some plants. And here we have the cactus plant. The amazing thing about the cactus is it doesn't need large amounts of water. That is why it is found very abundantly in desert areas, and it also comes in many shapes. The cactus has characteristics that help it live in desert areas, and that is what we call adaption. Adaption is the ability for living organisms to adjust to the environment they live in. Some of the cactus's characteristics include having large roots to help with water absorption, only needing small amounts of water, and having sharp thorns to protect it from animals. Plants adapt to adjust to the environments they live in. They also adapt to respond to external stimuli. An example of this is a plant we have here. It is called the shame plant. Do you know why? Look, do you see what happened? This plant, my friends, closes its petals when it is affected on by an external stimulus. Its sudden movement repels any harmful insects on it, and in that way it protects itself. So plants adapt to respond to external stimuli. Here we have the oleander plant. This plant is poisonous, and this is how it protects itself from animals wanting to eat it. All of the plants in our farm need our care and attention. This is why my father spends long hours caring for them. Plants, my friends, always require several factors. These factors are soil, water, temperature, and sunlight. And in the absence of any of these factors, the plants die. Soil is very important for planting plants. Without it, we could never grow a plant. Plants always need water. When water is abundant, the plants produce many large fruits. 
but when the amount of water is low, the number of fruits produced are less and smaller in size. Very low temperatures cause plant damage. And sunlight is very important. In the presence of light, plants grow and their leaves become green. In the absence of light, the leaves become yellow and the plants die. Great work! Together, we learned about the effects of the environment on the traits of some plants, the differences between large plants and small plants, how plants adapt in the environments they live in, the factors that affect plant growth.